Now, before the break, we talked about facts of blindness. Here are a few more. Every five seconds, someone in the world goes blind. The leading cause is really from cataracts. And without action, world blindness is projected to double by 2020. An event this month aims to change that. Representing the Trulson Eye Institute, Jessica Fillmeyer. Good to see you, Jessica. Welcome. Thank you by. for having me. Uh, let's get to some of the basics here. What is the Global Blindness Prevention Division, and how did it come to be at UNMC? The Global Blindness Prevention Division at UNMC was established two and a half years ago with the express aim of seeing that a world of needless and preventable blindness um, exists. We work to cure blindness domestically and internationally. You'll find pockets of blindness here in Omaha and around the world. And while, yes, 90% of the world blindness mm -hmm. is in the developing world, we do work here to champion that uh, need as well. But why mm -hmm. Omaha? Help us understand. The, the program could have been anywhere. Yeah, the program could have been anywhere. Uh, luckily for Omaha, my husband, Dr. Michael Fillmeyer, was born and raised here in Elkhorn. So he, had a, he went to medical school at UNMC and decided upon completing the first fellowship in global blindness prevention in the country that he wanted to continue championing this work and decided to bring it home to Omaha. Mm. So how many people were we talking about? How many people have you guys helped uh, since the program got up and running? Mm -hmm. We've screened several thousand people, and we've actually performed over a thousand free sight restoring surgeries. Wow, a in, thousand. in which you said locally here, um, and then in which countries? We work uh, primarily in Ghana, Ethiopia, Haiti, and Nepal, as well as mm -hmm. India and Peru. So and you've brought. I want to clarify. You've brought sight back uh, to a th over a thousand people. Yes, we've restored sight to a little over a thousand people. I think the numbers might be a thousand forty-four. Right, right. <laughs> that's <laughs> pretty impressive. Though. Yeah. We said that that this could double by two thousand twenty. What kind mm -hmm. of impact do you think you'll make through your work? The goal of our work is to actually continue to expand the eye care delivery systems we have in place right now. Uh, Trulson Eye Institute has this division, and every year we do large community outreach programs. So this past March, we just returned from Ethiopia, where we did 670 surgeries in about four and a half days, wow. using a three-man team that accompanied us from Nebraska. How do you That's do that? How, 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 how are that many, how do, yeah. that many surgeries done in that short of a time period? You know, cataract surgeries that we're doing abroad are able to be done in a little, as little as five minutes and have the consumable cost of $20. And so the... the a lot to cover here. Well, the, well, <laughs> right? the financial aspect, too. Yeah. But it's, it's amazing that a surgery that only takes five minutes could change someone's life the way this program does. Yeah, this, the eyesight, um, these patients that we select are the worst of the worst. They're bilaterally blind, blind in both eyes. They have the most to gain. So when we screen through, there's even more we could help. But we selectively choose those who need it the most. Mm -hmm. But you're talking about some of these patients, it costs 20 bucks to restore yes, their vision. 20 so bucks. If somebody out there that donates five or 10 or even $20, mm -hmm. it makes a huge difference in how many people you can reach. Yeah, we've pledged through UNMC to, do, to perform one free sight restoring surgery for every $20 we receive. That means that our own physicians, our own team, we pay out of pocket for those individuals to go abroad. We pay for their flights, housing, and food out of our own individual pockets. So that 100% of the money we raise Wow. goes to funding the surgeries. So that specific Just patient, 20 bucks goes to a certain patient. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's remarkable and you've got an event coming up on the 25th of this month which will mm -hmm. continue to support the work you're doing. Yes. What's planned? We have a night for sight, a masquerade ball at Jocelyn Art Museum as an evening of unmasking global blindness. Mm -hmm. So the goal is come masked, leave knowing that you've helped unmask blindness for somebody living somewhere else in the world. It's mm -hmm. October 25th, yes. and like you said, it's at the Jocelyn Art Museum, a, mm -hmm. a great location for this type Beautiful. of event. Tickets are $100, $75 for students, mm -hmm. and you can see that uh, long email address at the bottom <laughs> of the screen. We're gonna leave that up for a second so you can write that down, but I, I wanna uh, make another point here about your goals because you've uh, brought sight back to over 1,000 people. What are your goals for the future? We'd like to double our efforts. Uh, recently, we've just launched two Prevention of Global Blindness Fellowships. So beyond spreading the word here locally, getting the community involved, doing these eye care delivery systems, we also work to uh, champion touch points for young medical students, young residents to get involved in their careers. So these fellowships are actually selecting individuals around this nation and abroad to come on board and then spend seven or eight collective months over the next year curing blindness internationally. So to grow the program, we need to grow these fellowships, mm -hmm. grow more training opportunities, someday hopefully have an endowment. Mm -hmm. yeah. The work continues regardless of our involvement. Mm -hmm. yeah. But those are the... And we think about this maybe in underdeveloped countries, but mm -hmm. a good many of these cases come from developing parts of the world. Absolutely. Yeah. As, I, as I mentioned, there's about 45 million people on the planet that are blind. Four to five, 85% of them are curable. 
curable with a simple procedure that takes five minutes, consumable cost of $20. Wow. I didn't realize uh, that many were curable. Don't you feel like yeah. we've learned so much? <laughs> <laughs> learned a lot today. To me, then of all of the numbers that stand out, is the $20 yeah. um, that you could change someone's life truly with $20. Yeah. So the event again is on the 25th, and we'll show you the website one more time. We'll link back to that site from ours if you would like to log on to learn more about the ball at Joslin Art Museum, and then also um, the Institute itself. If you are compelled to plug in, learn more, we invite you to call 559-2170. Jessica, thank you. Yeah. Thank you and both. unfortunately, Dr. Filmeyer couldn't be here because he had He's a surgery, surgery to get to. He did. <laughs> yeah. so, but he was That's supposed the to way be it here. goes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Great to see you. Really appreciate it.